It was the year 1908 at the Merino Street in Puebla, Mexico. In that location was a pawn shop known as the Villa Trading House. The owner was one of the richest men in the entire country and was famous for taking advantage of people and for his rudeness. The government backed him up by turning a blind eye to his schemes so long as they received a portion of the profits. And with their help, he managed to become rich at the expense of the poorest of people. He would take hold of their few belongings and would then charge them insane interest rates. And he wasn't just a bad person, he was pretty negligent with his physical appearance too. He was bald and overweight, boasting a fat and round body. And not only that, but everyone who visited his pawn shop would be shocked when seeing his fat hands, covered in thick and black hair. However, the man was not ashamed of his hands and would constantly wear on them and flaunt many golden rings with precious stones. Everyone in the town hated that man, but many had to endure his scams in order to pay their debts. And every day, people who passed in front of his business would mumble against him, saying things like, One of these days, I hope your hand just withers. However, him and his wife from inside the pawn shop would laugh at their insults while flaunting the many coins they had earned. And then, a few years later, the owner of that pawn shop passed away. His wife bought the cheapest coffin she could find and moved to the city with all his money. Nobody came to his funeral, only the priest in charge of the ceremony and the grave digger. And then, at midnight on the night of the funeral, something started to come out of the man's grave. It was a dark hand covered not only in hair but also jewels. It started to crawl on the ground, getting to the streets and terrifying everyone who would bump into it. The hand would climb onto their faces like a spider and shove its fingers in their eyes until tearing them out of their eye sockets. And then it would strangle its victims until killing them, who would fall to the floor with a horrified expression and their necks bruised. Hours later, the hand went back to its grave to rest along the man's corpse. But that would not be the last time it would come out. People still say that if you are wandering around the beautiful city of Puebla in the wee hours of the night, you'll be in great danger of being attacked by the fuzzy hand. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life horror videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode.